There is a shift of attention to waste sorting right from the home where environmentalists say the practice of recycling could actually commence. This is part of the advocacy for cleaner environment and proper waste management. Our correspondent Funke Adesoji reports. Nigeria and other African countries affected by rapid population growth and poverty are not only facing problems with massive waste generation, but also daily massive waste management issues. In Nigeria, the situation is considerably worsened by the immense pressure placed on a nearly non-existent waste management infrastructure and the limitation of a poor waste governance structure. Here. FOC is on sustain awareness campaign on waste sorting right from the home to encourage recycling. If we create the right incentive across the chain, it becomes a lot easier for people to behave appropriately. You don't, they don't even need to know why they are doing what they are doing. You just need to put an economic incentive in front of them, either actively for people um, who will make a living from it or passively from people who will save costs, individuals and households who will save costs from it. How many of us in our homes have different trash bags for recyclables, for degradable waste, etc.? The likelihood is that for many of us, we do not think about it. We do not do it. Reason, there is no incentive. But if there is an economic incentive, if there is policy around it, if the waste man that comes does not pick up your waste because your plastic bottles is mixed with brown paper, is mixed with paper, is mixed with, and all of that, and then you get a fine, you will find that people start to behave slightly differently. We need to declare a climate crisis in Nigeria so that we'll go back to the drawing board and take a look at our policies and decipher what, what government should be doing. Dumping of waste refuse by the road sites or in illegal dump sites, especially in the water bodies over time, poses severe health risks and wellness of the people and environment, prompting environmentalists call for a holistic approach to combating waste generation and management. Whether it's the air, whether it's the land, whether it's the waterways, we find people just indiscriminately burning their waste, constituting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, um, illegal dumping in open dump sites which generates methane, all of this continue to harm the ozone layer and eventually what you find out is that while we think we are reducing the cost of waste disposal, we are incurring more health costs on our, our environment and our bodies itself, so we tend to spend more in the long run. We no longer have any reason to hold back from kind of like sitting down and saying we need to come up with government policies that will strengthen private firms to come in and save us while each and every one of us contributes our own quota. To drive home their points, stakeholders are of the opinion that involving the youth in this waste management procedure will go a long way in sustaining the practice and guarantee a cleaner environment. Funke Adesoji, Silverbed News 24.